Welcome back to Jersey Truth. I'm Dan Jones. I'm here with my guest, Whoopi Goldberg. We're going to get some more of your questions. But first, I want your reaction to this moment from the inauguration that is still rolling around in my brain from the new president. Oh, all right. The crime and the gangs and the drugs that have stolen too many lives and robbed our country of so much unrealized potential. This American carnage stops right here and stops right now. Now, if you thought those were just you know, words or just some rhetoric, it, we might actually be seeing some action soon. The new president tweeted this last night. Put it up. If Chicago doesn't fix this horrible carnage, that, that's that word again, carnage going on, 228 shootings in 2017 with 42 killings up 24 percent from 2016, I will send in the feds. Now, look, here's the messy truth. There is a lot of violence. Yeah. There are All a lot of the country. there are a lot of funerals. Uh -huh. And I don't think uh -huh. that when you look back at the Obama presidency, uh -huh. that there was that urgency about the inner city violence. Isn't this a good thing? And aren't you happy that Trump is saying he's going to do something? You know what? If he really wanted to do something, we'd have a lot more discussions about what how we deal with this crime with the with the uh, gun issue. See, because that's a, that's to me. If you yeah. want, if you start the conversation with, "Hey, Rom, I see but, you. Wait, but, wait. I see you having some issues there. We want to help. Mm -hmm. What can we do?" Well, can he talked. He, he talked to Rom, and he's he's starting those conversations. Yes, but he's starting the conversation by saying, "I'm gonna and I'm gonna put martial law in mm -hmm. your in your state." That's not the way you start a conversation with people. Listen, there is there's bad crime everywhere, but at some point we're going to have to discuss gun violence and what to do because listen well, 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 go ahead. So, well, listen. Go ahead. I, I, I want us to open our mind a little bit. This guy is the president of the United States. He I, wants to put the issue on the table. Couldn't Trump wind up being the, the savior for black folk? I don't know black folk need a savior. <laughs> I, I'm sorry, I didn't I wasn't aware. But and also, yeah. you know, Obama Let's talk a little bit about Obama. Yes. Okay, so here the guy gets in. Okay, he gets in. Day two, <laughs> the man, uh, what's his name? You know uh, McConnell what I'm talking about. Mitch guys. McConnell said, we're not going to help him. At, we're not doing anything. Nothing. Nothing. So now here he is. Then come the posters, you know, from the kids that work at the White House, maybe people working in different, uh, do you remember this, different mm -hmm. uh, offices? Yeah. They had one big poster, had all the presidents, mm -hmm. and the last one was Obama, mm -hmm. with big red lips uh -huh. and big eyes looking like okay. some kind so of character. Okay, so that was bad. Okay, so, it, it, but are, it continued. Let's but are, but but are then you it continued. saying that we should do the same thing? That's no, the, that's gonna... I'm not. I'm saying, let's be realistic. If you wanted Obama to do something, he did what he could do as the president of everybody. Because if he had done just stuff for black people, people would have been out of their minds. Oh, you ain't okay? Lying that. okay, so the guy is not, he's not the issue now. I don't mind Donald Trump wanting to go in and help. I do mind but, okay. that when you start this conversation by saying we're bringing in the feds, to me that's an issue. Okay, okay look, that, okay. 